Hi. Hey, Russ here. Welcome back to the shop. Yes, I'm over here in the armpit of my shop. Uh, in the back corner where the furnace is, this is a horrible corner. We all have this corner, don't deny it. Uh, and even some of those shops that are just so neat, you can't stand it. I know they got the little hidden corner that never gets into the sh shot of their camera. So they don't fool me. So anyway, I want to talk about this. And quite frankly, you should know what this is. This is my OTV uh, bench vise that I made using a hand screw clamp. And how I turned it into a regular little vise has a bench dog on the bottom and a wing nut and a bolt so I could bolt it right through any of my bench dog holes. Well, I realized that I actually have a hole right through the center of my drill press table too. So when I lowered this down so I could set this in between here, all I had to do was I took the little replaceable plate that is on my table and when I take that out, the hole goes all the way through the bottom and the center, just like all drill presses have on their table, have that center opening. And this fits right through there so I can lock it down with, with the wing nut down here so I can loosen it up, move it wherever I want. And because the vise is off center, that helps me to be able to line this up exactly where I want to be in line of where I want to do the drill. And I can also take and have that loose so that between these two, I can set this up pretty well anywhere I want to get it right where I want it, whatever I'm holding. And with the holding power, we're using the two adjustments. You can put just about anything in here and hold it and drill it just almost exactly where you want to drill it also. So I think this is going to make a great little vise for my drill press. <clears throat> the other thing I did on here, believe it or not, is I also made this quick little table that can go on here. And what I like about this, and the reason I have this, is now I can set this up. And if I wanted to, like now, I could set this to 45 degrees and bring this into 45 just that quick and now I can drill at a 45 degree so I can set this up to any angle using my cube angle gauge that I use on my table saw I can use that here and get an accurate angle instantly be able to adjust it exactly where I want it and lock it down and I have a good angle so this is going to make it great for drilling angle and things at an angle too using this little tabletop uh, I will say that if you have a bench top model, the distance here is going to be a lot less than it is on mine. But don't fret. You can always take this clamp if you want to use it on your bench. Just cut it off so that it's lower down. You still can have that jaw area here then that you can still make use of and get more space in between here. Just a thought. Um, you could even, instead of using these hand screw clamps, I want to make my own little vice setup using two bolts uh, to do it but that's down the road and maybe you can beat me to it if you don't want to use a hand screw clamp the theory is the two bolts so anyway that's this in a nutshell I wanted to show this to you real quick since I started using it over here for the last couple of days I like it I think this is going to work out very well for another edition in the workshop and quite honestly now multitasker a real multitasker. So that's three things I now can do with a hand screw clamp. You can use it as a hand screw clamp, I can use it as a vise on my workbench, or I can use it as a hold down right here on my drill press too. So uh, a couple other quick things I just wanted to mention. Uh, I hope you like this. I hope you get some ideas from this and now you have even less reason. You have more reasons to build one of these things. So let's get to it. Get your hand, and screw, hand screw clamp bought let make your own. Send me some pictures. I appreciate it. So, two things. Um, Harbor Freight sent me a bunch of coupons, and they had one in particular in there that I had to take advantage of. They had these things. This is the 18-inch metallic bar, a screw hole on each end, and you can get it for a buck a piece. You can buy up to eight of them with a single purchase, and I couldn't turn that down. My dilemma was, how the heck am I going to go in there and buy just one thing so I can get these? If I go in there, these things have cost me dearly and other stuff too. So, thank goodness you know who said that they would take care of this for me. So they went down there and bought these, but I forgot to tell them what to buy. That would have been a tough call anyway. So she made the decision. And guess what? Of course, they bought a tape measure. 
always use a new tape measure in here. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you that I got another coupon. I'm going to go back and buy eight more simply because these things are so, they're going to be very handy to around the shop. When you start seeing me using these places, you're going to say, oh, I have to try that. So believe me. So stay tuned. We're going to do stuff with that. The other thing I want to talk about real quick is that piece of plywood that I put silicone caulking on it and spread it out with a putty neck to get a thin film on here. It took a couple of days to get it completely dry. Uh, so plan ahead. But now that it's dry, this stuff is really very grippy when you put it on the table surface. So I actually could have used this method on the bottom of this vise to be able to hold anywhere. And this would have kept it from... Um, twisting anything instead of putting this silicone cookie sheet on here or the sandpaper like I did. This is going to be a great alternative for a lot of different things to give you a grip surface. Um, <clears throat> so keep this in mind and I'll show you some of the things I think I'm going to play with doing with this and we'll see how we can make, take this idea and use it for different things in the shop. So those are the two things I wanted to mention. Mostly I wanted to, to check out my little table. I love it. It's going to be really great over here by the drill press over here in the armpit of my workshop. So uh, <clears throat> if you have any comments or any ideas about any of this, leave it in the comments. I'd love to read them. Uh, if you learned something here today or if you like this video, please say so. Most importantly, though, come back again because we're nowhere near done. Thanks, and we'll see you again very soon.